everybody. So, um, today, um, for a while now, Vancouver weather's been kind of on and off, and today was a total on day, and it was sunny and warm and lovely, and wearing shorts and t-shirt and just this, um, jean shirt on top. It's not really jean, uh, I mean, it looks like jean, but it's pretty thin for material and so we were my husband and I were out and about today and we got some stuff and just wanted to show you what I got because um, Zara has been having a sale for a while I've, I went the first day they had it which was probably what a month ago now and picked up this shirt actually and not too many other things like a dress and I forget what other else. Um, it wasn't a lot, so I wasn't going to say anything. But they still have a lot of stuff on sale, at least the one here in Vancouver on Robson. And I'm sure that the one in Burnaby in Metrotown probably has similar stuff on sale as well. And um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that the sale's even better than when it started because they're really marking it down now. So some of the stuff I got got I was things that I passed up because I thought it was a little still a little too expensive and um, so I ended up coming away with some stuff for actually for the fall um, but there's nothing wrong with that so I thought I'd let, show you guys so the first thing I got was there was a blazer there that I had looked at and it's kind of like this not velvety but it has sort of like it. it's a cotton but it has that velvet um, texture to it, you know what I mean, and, um, they had it in beige, and they didn't have my size, and I was really upset, because I thought that would be perfect for, um, the fall and winter, because it just seemed a bit more, like, cozy. Well, I went there yesterday, or today, with my husband, and I saw this, and it was in this lovely blush color, and I freaking freaked out, because I love these, this type of color like this, and it looks like that. And it has this lovely detail with the buttons. I don't know if you can see that. But I really like the buttons. And it comes with extra buttons. So this was originally $139. And then I got it for $49.99. And it looks like that. And it's so nice and warm. And, um, I mean, not like overly warm. But this will be really good as a nice um, jacket layer for... A few months later from now. And let's see what else I got. Then they also had these sweaters that were originally $39.90. I hadn't even seen these in here before, so I never I didn't know. But then they marked them down to eleven ninety nine. And it's basically this three quarter length um tan sweater. And I got it in a um did I get it in large? Yeah, I got it in large because I find that Zara sweaters are really tiny. Like, when they say small, like, it's really small, like, ridiculously small and short. And so I like my sweaters to be a little roomy because, I mean, as it gets colder, you're going to put more underneath the sweater or whatever. And so I like to have a little room. I just think it looks nice to have it kind of slouchy. So it looks like that, and then it has this pink, where is it? <laughs> I can't find it now. And it has this pink little um, seahorse, which I guess was the thing, and there's pink detailing there, like a pink ribbon. I guess these were supposedly maybe springtime sort of things, but I will be wearing them probably in the fall, most likely even in the winter with things underneath and then they had this here which is also a large it was originally $25.90 and it was $5.99 yes they have t long sleeve shirts for $5.99 there like a lot of different ones and I got this one and I'm trying to go back enough so you can see it's really long so I can wear it with like leggings another three quarter length uh, shirt because I'm really liking those right now and I don't really have a lot of them and it's really slouchy, and the front has like a cowl neck, and I just really like this. I think this is going to be like almost like a dress shirt for me, with some really nice um, dress skinny pants or something, and a nice 
dress heel or even maybe my dress. I have some dressy loafers or stuff like that. So I really like this. And for $5.99, like, really? I could even just kick around the house in these and my yoga pants, I guess. And what else? Is it? One more shirt. Now, this shirt is so hilarious because I bought some shirts similar to this at Urban Outfitters in red and black. And I believe I did a haul a video about it. And I've actually worn the red shirt I'm wearing in like a couple videos ago. It's, it's like the exact same thing, but in pink. But at Zara for some reason. And it looks like this. It's just very plain, but very slouchy. And it's so soft. It's super soft. And um, I got this in a medium, and it was twenty nine ninety, and it was it says fifteen ninety nine here, but I got it for once they um, rang it through, it was nine ninety nine. So really happy about that. So those were my purchases from there, and I'm really excited about that. Well, all of them I really love, but I really love the jacket because I just really love having those type of jackets to layer because like. In the winter time, I could have a long sleeve shirt, this shirt, and then that jacket, and you know some slacks or whatever. And it's like totally pulled together. It's warm, but it's layers because um, where I live, is particularly, it like can warm up and then cool down really like fast one way or another. So it gives me a lot more play as it's just wearing like very minimal and then a coat or whatever because it's, it's just never like that so um especially on rainy days so i also went to the bay which is like a major department store a very very major department store here in canada it's kind of like maybe like a macy's something like that i don't think it's i guess it's sort of nordstrom's too because they carry like really high-end things we have like a whole coach store and all the fancy brands for makeup and stuff like. in fact I was looking at the Guerlain um, mosaic bronzer that everyone's talking about but um, yeah so the only thing I got there was they had candles on they had Yankee candles on sale for 50% off I guess they just thought that they were runoffs and most of them were more like summery scents like there was a strawberry one that I might go back for then they had banana and like orange, orange and something. It was some of the combinations didn't really smell that great, at least to me. And they had them in the small size, like the you know the little small size for like twenty four ninety nine, then fifty percent off that, or the tall size which was thirty dollar or twenty nine ninety nine, and then fifty percent off. So I figured I'd get the tall. And what I really loved, and I had never tried before was the mango blossom looks like that and it smells so good and I'm gonna try to <laughs> let you guys know what this is it smells like mango so it has like the sweetness of mango and it smells like mango but it also has like some type of almost floral like perfumey kind of smell in a good way perfumey kind of smell so it's not just sweet and fruity it's also kind of floral and it just smells so good it's so well rounded I really like this um I've been kind of hemming and hawing because I really need to get more candles for the house and um I just couldn't find anything that really was something that I liked and this I really really loved um and the other what was it last week or the week before my husband had bought these which I'll pick up because there's one right here and from uh, Winners, and I think they had more. And it's a dual so soy wax, a dual wick soy wax um, candle by Northern Lights Candles. It's called Luma. This just smells like apples, and I love it. I just I love things that smell like apples for some reason. <laughs> I used to, well, when I was younger, like in college, I used to have like. I would get the um, apple scented spray from Bath and Body Works. That one and the sweet pea and the freesia ones. Those those ones were my favorite. So when I smell anything like those, it just brings me back to the old days. And so it looks like this, and it's in this lovely like container. I'm not sure if you can really get like this really heavy um, glass container. So I'm hoping to keep that afterwards. 
because it's really nice. And uh, it'd be nice for like even a candy dish or something. So I had those, but I wanted some other ones because I just, I love to have these for pretty much year round. Now when it gets into like the fall, Thanksgiving on to like the holidays, I like to have like more like a nutmeg type of smell or pumpkin pie like that spicy cinnamon clove vanilla type of scent going on so I definitely then go for things like that and I actually got like this huge actually I should show you so I'm just gonna get it in a minute I got this huge friggin like vase of a candle that's that's just vanilla and it's friggin fantastic so nice but I have it in on my bookcase just like as like a like a nice piece to just look at because it's just fantastic looking so I'll get that in just a minute but I really like these so this ended up being like $15 and I got two of them and I like Yankee, Yankee candles they burn really cleanly which is why I like them um I've had quite a, I was kind of not I was not a Yankee candle fan but I think it was last fall I bought a bunch of like ones that were like pumpkin pie and different kind of flavors like that and they burned so cleanly like there's barely any wax at the end of the jar and I really like that because I like to recycle the jars and stuff so it's easy to clean so I'm really liking them there was another one that burned really cleanly I forgot but I bought some just recent like a few months ago and they just literally burn like this little small hole all the way down it's like so depressing that you spend <laughs> money on something that like barely does anything but anyway so let me get the other candle up here okay so here it is and this one's also by northern lights candles i don't know something at winters they had like a bunch of these but it's called toasted almond or toasted but it's called toasted vanilla and it smells really vanilla-y looks like that it's huge like look at my this like beside my head like it's huge and it's really heavy um, I really like that the fact that they're really like heavy weighted because I have animals that run around here and they could knock into like a table or something and if it's wobbly then it's just going to fall over and I don't really want to set my house on fire. So, <laughs> so those are the things that I got. I'm getting like on a tangent about candles but um, but yeah that's what I got today and yeah. Um, it's really fun today to be out, and tomorrow's supposed to be even warmer, so I'm really excited. Um, although, I'll probably be doing things on the patio, because we finally can clean the patio and enjoy it. So, probably finish cleaning that, and um, yeah, that's what's going on with me. I hope everything is well with you guys, and you're enjoying your weekend, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.